Hello guys, welcome back. FBI, open up! Yes, I received my transcript and also certificate so, from Ames. So it suddenly crosses my mind that um, why not I make a video about Ames University? sharing my opinions and P2 experiences during the time when I took an MBBS degree course in Ames University. Let us start from Ames University website. So before you enroll into a university, the first thing you will do is check out their website. What? Affordable price. So it's cheaper and compared with other universities in Malaysia, but still not really affordable to me without the help from Parma Scholarship. Because without them, I can't even afford my electric bill, you know? Ui, don't play play leh. Medium of instruction of all courses is in English although the importance of national language will be em emphasized in all activities of the university. Only during clinical years I was starting to use Malay to talk to patients and some doctors. Even till now also I'm still speaking Bahasa Roja. Not really speaking a lot of national language in Ames University. Eh? So the vision is to be a world-class university achieving excellence in teaching and research and engage in the service of society in promoting lifelong education. Our mission is to be a premier university in the re country and region for the study of medicine and other health science, engineering, computer technology, applied science, business and accountancy. Ames University is a green campus. So surrounded by trees, so Amsters will always tell you that they are heading back to the jungle when the semester starts. You can see a variety of animals and plants in Ames University. I myself personally have seen snakes, wild boar, tortoise, monkeys, and some weird insects. Not forget to mention a disgusting cockroaches and a freaking poisonous Charlie bugs. And surprisingly, I found an ebook about Ames flora and fauna just now when I was searching information about Ames University in the internet. Uh, my first impression on this book was good until I found out that uh, they didn't include ducks uh, into this uh, in Ames. <sighs> Ames always team up with duck forces outside to capture dogs in Ames. If you want to capture dogs in Ames, be fair, like, you capture both cats and dogs. Huh? Don't just capture only us, us people come and capture the dogs. Huh? And cats are even more dangerous, uh. you know, they destroy furnitures in your hostel and, uh, and they can cause diseases like uh, toxoplasmosis and posturella maltosida. Ames provide you different options of accommodation ranging from one person per room to four person per room and there are three rooms per house. So I'm, I personally am staying in a 4 person per room option. So for this option, there are 4 toilets and 4 bathrooms with a hot water uh, bath provided. That is my favourite things in Ames Hostel. Ames Hostel is a 5 storey building. I myself, I spend most of my Ames life staying at the 5th floor. Ames Cafe are actually Jaya Catering, uh, divided into, not to say divided, but they got a first floor and a ground floor. The first floor is where you can order those um, goreng goreng food, roti canai, so it's like a uh, mama inside of your uni. A bad thing is there will be a lot of flies uh, during the fly season. <sighs> well, the second floor is a sometimes air conditioned buffet style eating area where Malay, Chinese, Indian, and vegetarian food are served. So, uh, the thing I don't like about it is they all taste the same. Yes, they all taste the same uh, to you after a long stay in Ames. Because uh, your taste bud will eventually get 
bored over time and they will need other stimuli from outside aims so don't blame jaya la. jaya actually did a not bad job in aims huh? actually if you go at 8 45 so just like 15 minutes before they close they will the the the, the stars will actually just give you more food huh? because they don't want their food to turn into waste you know jaya body. So let's talk about the course provided in Ames University. So I studied medicine in Ames, so I think I'm only qualified to give opinions on medicine course. But I heard they said dental course are better than MBBS course in So for me, the overall learning experience was good. So during our pre-clinical years, we had our class in lecture halls, multidisciplinary labs for labs procedure, anatomy labs, and learn some clinical skills in our CSC clinical skills center. Well, during clinical years, uh, this is the scarier part. We had our clinical class at a hospital, Sultan Abdul Halim in Shop Hetsa. And in fifth year, which is the last year, we had uh, our clinical class at Hospital Sultan Bahia in Alostan, which means. Um, you got five years to study. The first four years you'll be staying in Bidong, and the last year you'll go to Alosta for your shadow husband. So I personally prefer the clinical years uh, because I got to see real cases, real patients. So you get curious sometimes, and you try to find find an answer la. So although sometimes you get scoldings from uh, very strict doctors like Doctor <laughs> Doctor, but after all, you just remember their scoldings and not what that. After all, you just remember what they taught, but not their scoldings. Study area is located at first floor and also the ground floor of this building. So, two of them are different. So, if you are the type of person who need to talk when you study, you can go to first floor where people will always chit chat and make themselves at home. If you want a complete silent study place, you can go study at the ground floor. You feel bad if you sneeze there. One problem I don't like about AIM study area is their opening hours only from 7 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. bro, the night is still young. AIMs need to understand that their mission is educating tomorrow's leader. Please extend your library opening hours, uh, sorry, your study area opening hours. Not expecting a 24 opening hours like uh, other universities in Malaysia, but at least extend, I mean, two to three hours, especially during exam season. It is hard for students to actually study in a hostel, especially students who are staying in four per room hostel. Not everyone is sleeping at the same time. <sighs> extend the opening hours of study area. Lastly, is my favorite place in Ames University, Sport Complex. Ames has a beautiful swimming pool, badminton court, running track, basketball, futsal, tennis, squash court, and not forget to mention an equipment lacking gym. But at least you still can perform some bench press, deadlift, and squat in that gym. Ames, install a power rack or just a very cheap wall mounted pull up bar, and below 100 ringgit, you can get one. No money. Ask for 50 cents per session la. So in a nutshell, my experience in Ames was okay, it was good. I love Ames. All I need are just wonderful lecturers and a good place to exercise after class. If you like my video, don't forget to go click the right, sorry, to go and podcast the like button and subscribe so that you won't miss the next video.